Senator from Louisiana. Um, if there is a theme of this colloquy, is that students and families are bearing the brunt, the consequences of this administration's botched FAFSA rollout. So let me just speak to that more broadly. Um, first, state of play. May 1st is National College Decision Day, which should be just like an exciting day for the kids and the families. In my day, they used to go to the mailbox, pop open the mailbox, there's the envelope, show it to mom, show it to dad. Whoa, isn't that exciting? But that's not gonna happen this time, by email or by snail mail. The issue here is clearly because of the administration's botched rollout. Now, what do I mean by that? First, let's explain what FAFSA is. FAFSA, FAFSA is the information that a, a, a prospective student receives as to the amount of financial aid they, can, they, they will receive if they go to this college or that college. So they open it up and they say, oh, this is how much I get to offset tuition if I go to my local state school. Or no, I want to go out of state. How much do I get to go there? And they can compare those financial offer sheets and make a decision as to what is the best place for them to go financially. But that's not going to happen. Or if it happens, it's going to happen in a poor way. So timeline is last October is when FAFSA should have been ready. But the system wasn't ready, and we were told it would be ready in January. It was for about three or four days. And then it was delayed until March. Now we learn that about 30% of those FAFSA forms have processing data errors and have to be reprocessed, and they won't be reprocessed until after the May 1st deadline. So instead of opening up that email and learning, out, learning what your financial package could be, it will be you will hear at a later date. So what are the consequences? Colleges cannot offer these students their financial package because of the processing errors. Some students will decide not to go to school because they don't know if they can afford it. Some universities will have a cash flow problem because the students that might go there for enrollment will not and so the cash flow problem will be very real. Now, what is doubly frustrating is that the administration has been doing things they shouldn't have been doing instead of doing that which they should have done. Remember, they were supposed to have this ready in October, then in January, then it goes down again, and when it finally comes up in May, we're told that 30% of them will be in error when it was supposed to be ready in October. What have they been doing in the meantime? They've been working on student loan, quote unquote, forgiveness, which really means student loan transfer of debt from those who willingly took that student loan debt on and transferring it to someone who either paid back their loan or never went to college. That's what they've been doing. Now, we have got to, by the way, by the way, Madam President, we have this hotline here. And trouble with FAFSA? Go to help.senate.gov backslash F-A-F-S-A. And we've had this up, and we've gotten some responses. Let's see. Not receiving clear instructions when able to reach a, pers able to reach a person, and the total thing was about anger about the long wait times on the phone. This is when they call Department of Education or FAFSA trying to get an understanding. Another person, frustration about the continued delays and lack of communication. And then there are additional delays which seem to be frequent. Uncertainty due to the lack of communication from the department. And when there is information, it is not helpful. Parents are expressing concerns, anxiety about choosing the best school for their child due to the compressed decision timeline. And, and for those who have been through the process in the past, they describe this year as, quote, being significantly worse. So it is up to Congress, and this colloquy is Republicans, but I invite my Democratic colleagues to come on board and hold the administration accountable. 
This should not be partisan. It is about the students, it is about the parents, it is about the integrity of a process that the Department of Education has totally failed at. So, for those watching, if you have an experience with FAFSA that you wish to report, please go there, help.senate.gov.faffsa, and I invite all my Senate colleagues to join me and, our, and, and the HELP Committee in terms of holding this administration accountable. With that, I yield. Thank you.